Hi everyone, hope all of you are keeping well and staying safe. Welcome to our video on Life Cycle Assessment Methodology. In this video we will learn and understand what is Life Cycle Assessment, LCA, Methodology of LCA and Phases in LCA. Life Cycle Assessment, LCA, is the calculation and evaluation of the environmentally relevant inputs and outputs and the potential environmental impacts of the life cycle of a product, material or service, ISO 2006A2006B. 2006 environmental inputs and outputs refer to the demand for natural resources, to emissions and to solid waste. The life cycle consists of the technical system of processes and transports used for raw materials extraction, production, use and after use, waste management or recycling. The life cycle consists of the technical system of processes and transports used for raw materials extraction, production, use and after use, waste management or recycling. LCA is a technique for assessing the environmental aspects associated with a product over its life cycle. It is a cradle-to-grave approach for assessing industrial systems. Cradle-to-grave begins with the gathering of raw materials from the earth to create the product and ends at the point when all materials are returned to earth. An LCA is divided into four phases in accordance with the current terminology of the International Organization for Standardization, ISO, the phases are called Goal and Scope Definition, Inventory Analysis, Impact Assessment, and Interpretation. In the Goal and Scope Definition phase, the purpose, audience, and boundaries of the assessment are established. During the initial phase of conducting a Life Cycle Assessment, LCA, the goal and scope are defined, which includes determining the purpose, target audience and application of the assessment. This involves deciding whether to conduct an attributional or consequential LCA, establishing the functional unit, specifying impact categories, setting system boundaries and addressing limitations and assumptions in alignment with the study's purpose. The next phase of an LCA is the inventory analysis. It starts with the construction of the life cycle flow chart and the collection of data for all relevant inputs, energy and material, and outputs, emissions and wastes along the life cycle. These data are then set in relation to the functional unit defined in the goal and scope definition. Impact assessment the third phase of an LCA is the impact assessment, which is divided into classification and characterization. During the classification, the inventory results are assigned to their respective impact categories. This is followed by the two-step characterization, that is, the inventory results are first multiplied with the equivalence factors of the different impacts and then summed up into the various impacts. Interpretation in the final phase the results are analyzed in relation to the goal and scope definition, conclusions and recommendations with respect to the aim of the assessment are given and the limitations of the results are presented. The conclusions of the LCA should be compatible with the goals and quality of the study. Reporting, the LCA findings are typically documented in a comprehensive report which includes a description of the methodology used, the data collected, the results of the impact assessment, and the interpretation of the findings. The report should provide clear and transparent information to stakeholders, enabling them to understand and make informed decisions based on the assessment. Improvement and decision-making, based on the results and interpretation of the LCA, Recommendations can be made to improve the environmental performance of the assessed product or system. The LCA can guide decision making by identifying areas of improvement, facilitating the selection of more sustainable alternatives, and supporting the development of strategies for reducing environmental impacts. In conclusion, Life Cycle Assessment, LCA, is a powerful tool for environmental comparison of products and systems. 
providing a holistic perspective and aiding decision making, it quantifies potential impacts, facilitating better data collection and improvement of the assessment process. Thanks for watching.